So today we're going to do an oil change on a 99 Tacoma. Now, let's go over how we're going to do this. First off, you want to take it, pull it, pull it, yep. Now, got to pop the hood. the hood take off this cap now that that shit's done come over here got this I got it from got it from the Walmart I'm gonna take it throw it under there after that's under there um, we're gonna crawl under we're going to loosen the nut that holds in the oil <clears throat> all right so next we're gonna have to drain the oil <coughs> over here. Let's get come out of that hole. We're gonna go in this. Any extra that spills. Put this fucking cardboard in there. Uh. Alright, so we're gonna take our socket wrench. Turn this. Oh shit, got my camera dirty. Turn this counterclockwise. Put the counterclockwise. Yep, broke that fucking bolt loose. Yeah. Some bitch. Same here. We hold it, keep the oil from spilling too fucking much. Oh shit, it's hot. It's fucking oil's hot. Ow. I am in minor pain. When you're over here and you're getting ready to take your oil filter off, I like to put a garbage bag around it. This, this, um, kind of prevents it from making a mess your driveway because cleaning oil off your driveway is, it, it's annoying. You gotta scrub it and stuff. I gotta go do that over there once we get done with this project, but what you can do is you can take a garbage bag, you can put it underneath your oil filter so it don't spill everywhere when you take it off. Alright. So now, Got our oil filter loose and I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it in this bag. That way it doesn't spill oil everywhere. Keep this from being such a messy job at home. Take it off. Here it comes. Okay, here it goes. There. There we go. This. It's oil filter. All right. So one of the next things you gotta do after you take your oil filter off is you gotta make sure that the fucking ring came off with it. Look, you see right there? You gotta make sure the fucking gasket came off with it. If you try to put it on there with the other gasket still on um, on there, it's gonna fucking shoot oil everywhere gonna be fucked up. Don't do that. Um, anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna have to fill up the other oil filter so we can get it rolling. We're gonna do that real quick. Check us out. So I got my genuine Toyota oil filter. Look at that. She ain't even open yet. Let me open her up. Yeah, now she's open. Right, now that she's open, see there we have our oil filter gasket it looks just like the other one so all the parts that were needed to come off came off my hands are covered in oil so I'm just gonna, gonna lather this up open up my new oil I use Valvoline synthetic blend because it's good it's it just gets the job done it does it well it does it very well nextly yeah. next take it I like to pour some in here that way my engine does not start dry. I do not like it when my engine starts dry, so I don't take it to the Jiffy Lube people because I don't want them fucking this up. And it's my car, I should maintain it. Anyway, here we go. We got a good amount of oil in here. So when it starts, it doesn't start dry. We do not want our car starting dry, it, it's damaging. 
every time a car gets an oil change and it started dry, the engine does get a little bit damaged. So to prevent that, we're going to put oil into our oil filter. Okay, now let's put this bitch back on. It's coming here. Uh, fucking hell, you can't really see where it's going still. So. so the oil filter, it's right there. That's what I just replaced. Back out. It's right behind this upper control arm on the passenger side. It's coming out. This is how it looks. So over here, this is where our oil catch pan was. So right there, you can see it. It's full of oil. Put the lid back on it. And before you uh, fill it up with oil, before you start draining oil into it, make sure you put this stopper. Take a take it off when you start uh, to lift it again. Remember to put it back on, of course. Put your oil cap back on. So now we are going to put our oil uh, fucking our oil bolt. Fucking fuck. So now we're going to put our oil plug bolt back in. There we go. It clicked. You don't want to over tighten it because you got to be able to get this fucker off. But right about there, that tight is good. So when you're working on on, uh, <clears throat> on German cars, you got to say Guten tight. That's how tight stuff has to be. Well, when you're working on any type of truck, what it really is, it's called fucking tight. Got to remember that. So now we're at the part where we got to put oil back in. Okay, oil's gonna go right in here. I'm gonna put you guys on the tripod for that part. So there's a variety of ways that you can make a funnel. If you wanna make a funnel, you can make one. But, count on ye all careful pour. Let's see if I can do this today. I hope so. Now that we're back in our car, let's start it up. We're gonna listen for any weird noises. And there we have it. We have successfully completed an oil change on our 99 Toyota Tacoma. Alright. Um, if this video was helpful, please subscribe, like it, share it if uh, if you'd like. I would like it. Um, thank you all and.